Hey guys, in this video today, let's talk about the WAN chain and let's understand if the WAN chain is actually a long term project. So they had an ICO back in September and they got listed on the exchanges recently and ever since they have been listed, the price of the WAN chain has been really going up. So I think it's grown almost by 10x from the ICO price. Now. So what do you want to see? Now, one of the things that I have recently observed, what do you want to see, sorry. So what do you want to see? One of the things that I have recently observed is now most of the blockchains which have this interoperability feature, what does the interoperability means? So this is not a security token. Uh, this is not a platform, but this is interoperability. That means it can communicate with other blockchains as well. So, and this is the similar stuff that we saw in the other blockchain also, for example, Ontology and Eternity and the Aeon that we spoke about recently. And these cryptocurrencies have really grown a lot from their ICO price. And so the trend right now really is when, of course, when Bitcoin was launched, it was more of a cryptocurrency trend. So, which is like money transfer. And then the Ethereum came, which said that, okay, you can not only just transfer money, but you can also build decentralized apps and and then there were eos and other blockchains and now uh, ada and others right ada eos i think uh, i think there are a couple of them lisk right neo now the third trend is interoperability now now blockchains which are interchangeable with each other i mean the assets can be exchanged they can talk to each other is what the new trend is and they seem to be doing so what exactly happened with one chain let's have a look so one chain got listed it's ranked at number 39 on the coin market right now and it's trading at about five dollar 55 cents they got listed on the exchange in in the month of september so they got listed at a higher price as well four dollar 29 cents is what price they got listed at uh, and and the all-time high is about 9.75 Let's have a look at some, some of the figures here. So is it worth buying today? In my opinion, uh, so far that I have read about this project, it's worth buying because this is going to be a long term project. So there is an, this write up which says why I think one chain is an incredible long term investment. And if it is a long term investment, then it absolutely makes sense to buy at this price because uh, a lot of pe people actually missed out on the ICO because ICO again was a very oversubscribed. So those people actually also bought one chain at four dollar at the exchange price right now. So if you compare that to the exchange price right now, the price is not really high. It's five point four seven, which is just about one dollar up. But but in terms of market cap, there were one point one billion ranked at twenty nine. So definitely, I think it's a great, great buy. Again, not an investment wise. Do your research about OneChain and then get into it. What, what, what exactly OneChain does? So it's rebuilding finance, connecting the world's digital assets, and it has different, various use cases. It's building digital economy, digitization of assets, new opportunities means ICOs, and uh, so these are the three main use cases that I see decentralized exchange uh, asset management tool and the ICO platform so probably you will see very soon you will see ICOs also getting uh, listed or not listed but ICOs being raised on one chain as well so one chain is not merely a universal cross chain protocol it is a distributed ledger that records the cross chain and intra chain transactions the now, one of the things that I found that it has this uh, privacy feature, which is a ring signature uh, and private send. So one of the only concern that I have is how, or maybe this is not a concern, but I do have a concern that how would they get featured on the, on the fiat exchanges because a lot of regulators are not really happy with the privacy feature. So I don't, I'm not really sure it's a semi privacy feature or, or completely privacy feature privacy feature but that's one of the questions that i do have on my mind but if you have any information on that definitely let me know in the comment box below if you're already holding one chain or if you did participate in the one chain how does that work work look like so it's a private it's a cross chain and it you can build smart contracts on it so as you can see it's 
it's slightly better than ethereum i would say it's a blockchain 3.0 for sure so so this was basically the the uh, the 20 uh, the the ico was on the erc20 token which actually they swapped already i'm sure if you're holding it you have swapped it if you have not they have a link for you to swap your erc20 tokens with the one coin and you can download the so they have their own wallet as well one chain have their own wallet you can download it from the github by uh, clicking on this link here which i'll leave the link just in case if you're going to buy it on the exchange so what exchanges can you buy it on well you can buy it on binance that's the number one exchange and uh, huobi and kucoin so just in case if you're let's say if you're planning to buy uh, the best place to keep those swap one coin would be by downloading the wallet and transfer it from binance or any exchange that you're buying it from there to this wallet private wallet and by the way this is something i also want to mention that so this is uh originally an ethereum network fork founded by factum co-founder jack low so factum is another cryptocurrencies which is exist which exists on the coin market which is over here so the creator of one chain has already created one more coin called factum which a co-founder it was not he was a co-founder called jack low the one chain network is striking out on its own one chain will create a new market of cryptocurrencies via cross chain transfers on different blockchains and this is one of the important factor also like one of the reason why yours has been so successful because people saw that dan lanimans have already created two other blockchains so this definitely ha is a plus point for a new cryptocurrency is that this is the second blockchain that uh, jack lu is building up and in case if you are going to be holding long term one chain if you are interested more learning about more one chain i found this hit article on hackernoon.com which really talks about why one chain is going to be a long term investment right again do your own research it's a developing space there are many more good blockchains coming up and uh, but you know one chain is equal to ethereum plus ripple flows monero for chain link so exactly i mean i mean the excitement is at peak uh, among the community uh, and uh, i think uh, there are many more applications that can be built here you have a mention of iu uh, with icon so they have also partnered up i'm sorry i wanted to show you some partnership as well so i think they just partnered up with uh, i forgot they just partnered up okay one second i think it's here so they just partnered up with oh i forgot i guess okay i think it is there on their medium post but they have some partnership i think they just partnered up with the kyber network yeah i remember that now they just partnered up with the kyber network as well so yeah they have done a tons of partnerships already ideally they should mention all their partnerships on the website but they haven't mentioned that so that's that's interesting uh but yeah uh, this is all one chain is about all about i do think it's a long term cryptocurrency but what do you, what's your opinion on one chain do you already hold did you participate in the one chain cryptocurrencies and do you hold it if not what do you think about it i would love to know your thoughts on this thank you so much for watching hit the like subscribe if you new and i'll see you next time take care